This one's got the old 216, the old Carter W1 on it. Just the way God and General Motors intended it. Out here today in Kansas, got a farm auction that they're getting everything pulled out and ready for. By the time I post this video, it will all be sold. Got a restored 52 Chevrolet. Five Lendo with all the chrome. This is a metallic paint job. Later model mirrors, later model upholstery, later model radio. Typical 1980s, 90s restification, refurbishment. Got a Yale forklift. Got a tow motor forklift. Neat old wagon there. This old TT truck, they've been working on getting it running. Another refurbished vehicle. Don't really necessarily call something like this an actual restoration. But they keep them keep them going and just kind of use whatever reproduction aftermarket parts.
nice old 51 Ford. Pretty clean original car. Guy kind of had a thing for late model mirrors and late model bucket seats. This car has had really nice quality refinish on it. Good quality chrome on it. This is a 29, 28 model double A truck. stake bed this is the old 52 barn fresh or barn stale depending pretty original truck This barn looks vintage, but it's actually an all brand new build. They sourced vintage stone, did the whole foundation, sided it. It's all steel frame inside. They've kind of taken everything out and started putting it in rows, but that buggy was up top on the landing there. They'd flip the lights on here and it was a great little display for all of his vintage items. Whiskey jug, corn liquor. A lot of vintage mixed with modern reproduction. The old piano. Here's the old kitchen cupboard. American Gothic on a jug. Old iron stove all enameled. Maytag washer. Maytag motor. Buggy. T touring about a twenty three to twenty five.
You see the progress of the barn. These old sheds and houses, a lot of guys will recover this old barn wood and use it for these builds. Nineteen thirty, nineteen thirty one Model A Coupe. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Quality life tonight before I can do it. Nice older restoration. Got the handrails on the back for the rumble seat. Neat old cars. This one's just an excellent example. Restored to a correct professional level. Quail radiator cap was a optional accessory. You could get that or the moto meter. This one's been refitted with seal beam headlights and little fog lights for driving, but otherwise this car is just how it rolled off the Ford assembly line. This Ford's going to be 38, 39. Still sitting on the original frame. But they have made some later additions. It's got the 1940 Chevrolet front bumper, and then of course the Dodge pickup wheels. <laughs> This one was a restoration in progress. Little bit of restoration, little bit of refurbishing. You see that a lot with these guys that are tractor guys and kind of more mechanical and then the body and paint work they just do the best they can Right here is the last one he was working on before he died. About a 23 to 25 Turtle Deck Roadster. This was one of the most common body styles and one of the most low priced ones. If you guys haven't seen it, look back at my last Model T video, the one with the ones at the museum. And you can hear a little more of the story about these. This was one that Henry Ford said if he sold a certain number of them that he'd credit the people back that bought them with a rebate. Pretty unique marketing strategy that really worked. You can hear more of that story in the museum video. This one's well on its way. Couldn't get the motor to turn with the crank. So simple as these are though, it won't be real difficult to get it back going again.
couple old workhorses here. 65 Ford, F600. Been shedded. Don't always see this kind of pride of ownership on these vehicles when they get to this age. Beautiful period vehicle, relic of its time. Still smells like 1965 inside there. Neat, neat truck. Next to it is the 78 F350. She's a two-wheel drive, pretty common. Hear all the forklifts and equipment running around. They're getting all this stuff lined up and rode up for auction day. Four speed on the floor. These really were great old trucks. See a lot of them that are pretty run down, but finding one like this that has this kind of pride of ownership, not something you see every one of these auctions. It's kind of a unique little piece of folk art. Bet you that thing brings 500 bucks. <laughs> These John Deere guys, it's not just a brand, it's a religion. Get the little pontoon boat there. Big old load of hay. Couple old milk cans, Philip 66 buckets, little oil cans. Here, this is a John Deere with the steel lugs. Old two cylinder. I wasn't exactly sure of the model on this one. If you know what it is, comment down below. Pretty early tractor. And we got the D. Nicely restored tractor. They haven't even really run the tires down yet with the little nipples. Ford L8000 day cab. These were pretty common for pulling grain trailers. Nice old truck. Original paint. Another one, great pride of ownership. Three hundred and seventy six thousand miles. Eaton Fuller Road Ranger. I would not even know how to drive that. Next hit, we got the big K1 
Cat 950 wheel loader. Good old machine. <laughs> Minneapolis Moline U. Out of all the old tractors, Minneapolis Moline has kind of a personality, if you can say that about a tractor. We got a restored 47 Chevrolet Loadmaster. This one's got the old 216, the old Carter W1 on it. Completely stock and original. Just the way God and General Motors intended it to be. Beautiful old truck. They made millions of these trucks. They were really a symbol and an icon of post-World War II American prosperity. Co-op Country Squire tires. <laughs> All the cool details make it what it is. Right here we've got an unrestored McCormick Deering. This one looks like pretty much direct competitor to the early John Deere. I did not buy any of the vehicles at the sale. There were four auctions scheduled this weekend and I knew that based on the condition of these and the pride of ownership of them, that they were gonna sell pretty strong and they did. They all brought right around market price or in some cases above it. And so I went off to other auctions and kind of let the collectors duke it out on these very good day for the seller i think this old stuff the nostalgia of it people really like it and it's just a good trip back from the chaos of today's world i did buy a set of chevy hubcaps have the truck that they go on Fortunately, my dad was able to attend this sale and bid on that stuff for me. Got a stack of tires. I always need these for rollers. Since I don't have a tractor, all my stuff has to roll. Another neat relic piece was this Ford tire. I believe it probably was an assembly line piece. So that's kind of neat to see it still around. Then this Coca-Cola sign is going to be part of a, another project that I have coming, not automotive related, but still something vintage.